Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here and today we're going to be going and continuing our Commander Mastery series guide on Sun Tzu. And there's a reason why. Sun Tzu is one of the best epic commanders, if not the best, in the game. He's the first epic commander I think that you should max when you're starting the game out. Or if you just don't have him maxed yet, get on the ball, get him maxed out, get the ball rolling because he is a beast on the battlefield. He's a beast in the garrison. And early game, he's actually pretty darn good as a rally commander as well. So we're going to jump over to the other screen again. Before we do, please hit the sub button if you have not done so already. Please hit the bell notification. All those good things. Make sure you get all this content every single day when we're putting it out. I'm going to go ahead and jump over and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so here we go. Here's Sun Tzu, and again, I wanted to do him early because he's so good. I want to make sure you guys have what you need to use him on the battlefield, especially if you're new to the game. You need to understand how to use him. He's the best. When it comes to epic commanders, he's the best one, in my opinion, in the game. He does so many good things really, really well, and he's versatile too, which you know on this channel I love versatile commanders, and he is one of the ones that has that in spades. So let's quickly go through the skills and I'll show you why they're as good as they are and then what they kind of work with and what they don't. And then we're also gonna go through a few of the uh, builds that I've got for him as well. And then finally, again, we're gonna go over how to unlock him because there is a particular way if you wanna be most efficient, but really you should be pouring all of your sculptures into Sun Tzu to get him maxed as early as possible. The quicker you get him maxed, the better really so let's go ahead and jump into this because the first skill is really good now this is showing the expertise flavor of this if we go to the expertise it shows you the non-expertise so it deals direct damage 450 to a maximum of three targets in a fan shaped area and the fan is pretty large uh, and also deals an additional 150 damage to those targets on the next turn so it's a total of 600 before you max and uh, expertise him and then a thousand when you do expertise him and then again it's three targets before expertise and five targets after expertise but the extra kicker on all of this stuff is in addition you get an additional 50 rage for every target you hit with this skill so if you hit three on this one that's an extra 150 rage that's 15 percent of your skill bar filled like that same thing with the expertise, 50, uh, 50 rage for each target hit, but you can hit five targets when you expertise Sun Tzu. So that's a quarter of your skill bar if you happen to hit five targets at once, which is really hard unless you're in a scrum, like you're in a murder ball. But um, if it's just like an open field one versus one fight, obviously, um, you know, if it's only one army versus one army, you're only going to get 50. But if you have five armies, you, you're likely to hit maybe two or three. Um, with your AOE and then again you'll get 100 to 150 rage which is again still a nice little extra in addition to a very strong AOE damage skill for his first skill here um, and it's an epic like it's, that's to me that's like that's legendary stuff I mean I know that um, the number isn't quite as high as legendary but the the damage you're putting out and the fact that you're generating rage on top of it I mean that that kind of leans towards legendary to me the second skill philosophy of war Reduces damage taken by the garrison. So this is obviously a garrison skill of 7% when the commander is serving as garrison commander. Now you can be primary or secondary and this skill will work. You don't have to be primary for this to take place. And again, it's 7% troop damage reduction, which is, again, that's, that's good. Now this says reduces damage taken uh, by the garrison. So to me, that means all damage, 7% all damage, whereas this says garrison troops damage reduction. Again, I, I view this as this reduces all damage types coming in. It doesn't say reduces troop damage by the garrison. It says reduces damage. So to me, this includes skill damage. This includes uh, obviously normal and counterattack damage as well. So, I mean, to me, this is a very, very strong garrison skill. Again, especially for an epic, this is one of the better ones that you can have in the game. Then we go to the third skill, and arguably, this is one of the, the top tier skills of Sun Tzu. So, not only are you getting a damage taken reduction, and this one is troop damage only, but then you've also got an infantry health bonus. So, let's, let's go through this really quick. Increases troop damage reduction by 10%. This is all the time. This is not a percent chance. This is not a when you cast a skill, you get 10% troop damage reduction. It's all the time. And Again, if this is a one-minute fight or a two-minute fight even, 
every single turn you're getting normal troop damage. You're getting troop damage uh, incoming to you. So that means if it's a minute fight, that's 60 damages that you've you've cut by 10 percent that's huge that's a huge number to be cutting off of the damage you're, you're receiving say it say it's a 2000 damage number that's 2000 and then 10 percent of that's 200 and then multiply that by 60 turns because that's what you're looking at right so i mean you're looking at what 12,000 damage that you're reducing that's a nuke two nukes three nukes four nukes that you're reducing just by having this skill okay on top of that, if you are leading with infantry, so again, if you've got Sun Tzu primary and YSG secondary or Osman secondary or any of the other pairings that we're going to go through tomorrow in our Sun Tzu commander pairing ranker, um, you'll get this uh, increased health bonus as well as long as you're using full infantry. Now, you can have some infantry and some other com uh, troops, but it's not going to be as beneficial. And again, if you have full infantry, all of your troops will get this 10% health bonus, which is really good. Now, as a second, so say you had YSG primary and Sun Tzu secondary, or Kusunoki primary, Sun Tzu secondary, Baybar's primary, Sun Tzu secondary, and you use archers or cavalry, You'll still get the damage taken reduction bonus, okay? But you won't get the infantry health because you're not using infantry. But you still will get the increasing the troop damage reduction by 10%. That will still apply to the cav and still apply to the archers, okay? So I just want you to make sure you're aware of that. And then finally, you've got the last skill, which is always a good one to have. We went over this with YSG in the previous Commander Mastery Guide. Increasing active skill damage by 20%. Now, it says active. I know it says active. It's supposed to be active only. However, when you look at the upgrade preview, it says skill damage bonus. <laughs> That's all skill damage. So skill damage bonus of 20%. Okay, so this, this applies to anybody who has an active skill damage, like Sun Tzu, right? So Minamoto has an active skill damage on the front. Deals direct damage, direct uh, damage factor 1400 to the target. That's an active skill damage, active skill. Now there's other commanders like Osman, for instance, that have a passive uh, skill damage. So passive skill, direct damage factor 400. Sun Tzu's skill does apply. <laughs> this skill applies because again, it says skill damage bonus. Even though it says active here, it's not really just for active. So you definitely want to use this with other nukers um, if you want to maximize this skill. However, even if you have like Sun Tzu Scipio or Sun Tzu Charles, or, and again, I'm getting into the pairings piece because he's so good with a bunch of different pairings, but this amplifies whenever you have a secondary nuker or Sun Tzu is a secondary nuker to another primary nuker. That works really, really well. This will also work on Alex. This will also work on Freddy having an active additional skill damage as his main skill. That works fine too. So, I mean, those all work really well together. And again, quickly for the expertise, we already went over it, but increases the damage to the nuke and increases the targets that the fan hits. So if there's five targets inside of your fan, you will hit all five targets with an expertise Sun Tzu. Now let's go over quickly a few talent builds. I want to give you some key ones, but then again, there's about five or six on my Discord. The link is in the description below. Make sure you go check it out if you need to have the most up-to-date talent builds for Sun Tzu in any different situation that you like to see. So let's bring up the... This is just the standard one that I like to use. I'll go ahead and just open this one really quick and bring it on over if it'll let me. There we go. Let me just get rid of that screen. So this is my standard build. So we've got hold the line up top here. We've got rejuvenate. We've got clarity. We've got feral nature maxed out at five out of five. Um, and again, this is just your standard open field or rally build. This will work on open field or rally full infantry because hold the line. You want to have full infantry. This also does have latent power, which gives additional skill damage, a little bit of an uptick in damage. So again, if you're pairing Sun Tzu with Osman, with Freddy, um, with Ramses even, if you, if you want to, you can, um, that would all apply. Additional skill damage does apply to additional skill damage only. So that's what latent power is for. And again, Sun Tzu has additional skill damage on his primary skill. He's got the primary nuke, and he's got the second tick, which is considered additional skill damage. Let's also go over to a good city garrison build. Now, this is for just generic city garrison. I do also have 
an anti Attila flavor of this as well. If you want to go check that out, but this is the city flavor. It gives you impregnable, which is skill damage reduction. It gives you burning blood and it gives you rejuvenate feral nature and clarity as well. You want to have a secondary nuker to this as well. Now, if you don't want to have a secondary nuker, this is something that's a little special of a build. So I'm going to show you. Um, if you want to have like a Scipio or if you want to have a Charles, for instance, as a secondary to Sun Tzu, you don't need clarity because clarity increases the skill damage of the second commander. Well, if you don't have any skill damage on that second commander, there's no point to talent build over to there. So then you can go full infantry, get elite soldiers, which is a pretty nice little stat buff that you get in the infantry tree. However, usually it's a little too expensive to get if you're also getting the skill tree and um you get like a snare um, right here which is not really that great and you have to go through a bunch of march speed which doesn't really help too much on the open field with infantry but you get all the health bonuses the defense bonuses hold the line elite infantry you get rejuvenate you get latent power you get a couple of the other skill damage enhancements and skill damage taken reductions you just don't get the second skill uh, the second skill damage bonus because you don't need it so scipio again charles richard Sun Tzu Richard, this is the build you want to use. This is the build, not the regular uh, full skill build. Um, again, you're going to give up Feral Nature to do this, but you're, you, you'd have to go, I think that's probably about 20 points to get from here to Feral Nature, whereas you can get the whole infantry tree if you just skip out on Feral Nature and Clarity. So that would be my recommendation there. Uh, and again, there's tons more skill builds um, here. There are talent builds over on my Discord if you want to go check those things out. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing the pairings ranker portion of Sun Tzu. We're going to go over which ones are the best, which ones are okay, and which ones are probably not something that you should use. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this updated Sun Tzu Commander Mastery Guide. I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one. And take care. I didn't know how to play it. Thank you.